Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Faye from Young Bristol's Creative Programme. Today we're going to be making zines, which are small little magazines, um, leaflet type things. Um, they're really good fun to make and you can be really creative with how you use them, what you use them for, whether you're going to be making little stories, comics, recipe books, or perhaps just a diary. I've got a couple of examples here. Um, one is just a very basic how-to magazine and inside you can see some doodles and some notes around how to make zines and this one was made by Phoebe from our creative program um, for some people that visited us from Hanover last year this was like a little thank you as they left we wanted to make sure they had something to take back with them and she put together a really lovely zine for them which had some photos of their trip and some um, memorable landmarks and things that we did together um, and that was a really lovely little simple gift that they got to take home with them. So you can use these for lots of different things. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it up today and you can then use them however you want. It's really simple. All you're going to need is um, some A4 paper, some scissors, pens or pencils um, and some glue. And if you want to use any imagery or text, you can also um, get together some old magazines, newspapers, photos, cards, things like that. I'm going to do a bit of both in my zine today so that you can see how I use it. I've also got my printer here. This is just to show you how you can then copy your zine if you want to share it with other people. Um, perhaps you've got friends or family you want to post it to. I'll show you how to do that later on. But to get started, you should get your A4 piece of paper. It's going to be a bit of folding, but very simple cutting. It looks more complicated because um, all the zines that we make are from one piece of A4 paper. So you can see that here. This has been cleverly folded and cut to make a really cool little booklet shape like this. So all you have to do is get your A4 piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half like this way. Okay, so. Get it nice and lined up. This will help in the end if you keep it nice and lined up. Use your thumb or your nail to score it. So you should have it that sort of size. Okay. And then you'll need to fold these in half again. So we're going to fold the top bit over first. You can see what I'm doing. Again, line it up nice and neat. And use your hand or your nail. There we go. So you can see I folded off over that top bit first. I'm going to turn it over. And fold the other bit back on itself. So you will end up with that shape, so like an M or a W, depending on which way you're holding it. Alright, so once you've got it like that, you want to kind of grab hold of the middle bit. Sounds like a little bird. We're going to be making a cut in the centre here, so you want to measure about halfway along, and we're going to be cutting just up to the fold okay I'm going to do this by eye but you can use a ruler to try and find the middle if you want to make it really spot on I don't mind if it's a little bit wonky out personally because I think that makes the zines a bit more interesting anyway so once you've made that cut you can see there um, I would turn it over I'm going to push these out to the sides so you'll end up with this sort of shape and all you need to do then is just crease the top of the new pages that you've made so that it all fits together like a cross and then you can just any any of these fold them round so it makes a nice little booklet of four okay so you can see one two three four pages there we go so that should be your little booklet ready to go okay. so you can see from one piece of paper um, now this is the bit where you get to be really creative and you get to use your imagination of what you want to put in your zine there's lots of ideas um, I'm going to be making for this example a little diary of my week things I've been up to this week but you could like I say you could do little recipes you could do some drawings make a little short story or a comic um, you can put in some game ideas or some puzzles or quizzes for people um, or you might even want to do like um, film reviews of things you've been watching over the last few weeks or music reviews of songs you've heard it's really up to you how you use it 
But to get started on this one, I'm going to use a mix of drawing and adding in pictures and things that I find in magazines. One of the quite fun things you can do when you're looking at doing text on a zine is you can just write using the pen. But something that's quite fun to do and what Phoebe's done in this one is she's used to cut out bits of text from magazines. Um, you can see here she's written the word Hanover in lots of different letters from magazines there. So that's what I've got here ready on mine to go on. So I'm going to put the title this week and I've got some bits of newspaper with letters to some bits that I can cut out. So I'm looking for particular letters. I'm going to cut them all out. So I've got all the letters to spell out this week. There we go. I have a few of them cut out already. Um, and I'm going to stick these on using the glue. And you don't have to do like this, you can write on it. Um, you can also use a letter set if you have any at home, which is a really old fashioned um, like transfer uh, lettering. I got introduced to it by a girl called Jenny who um, was part of the YB Creative team. It's really fun, you sort of scratch the letters on. But if you don't have any of that, a pen or some creative bubble writing will work as well. So I've done that really quickly, <laughs> just plonked it on. We can see it says this week. And let's see what I've been doing this week. So I had a look through these things. This week I have been drinking a lot of tea. So I'm going to draw a big cup of tea. Um, I don't know if it's because the weather changed or what, but I've been enjoying having nice hot cups of tea. So I'm using a nice chunky Sharpie. I don't know if you guys will have these sort of felt tips at home or just maybe you want to use paint, it's up to you. So a very loose <laughs> doodle of my cup of tea. And I've also got some um, bits of food and stuff here that I've cut off. So I've got some of the tea bags that I've been enjoying. Um, I've got a little bit of the cardboard box that they come in because that's got quite a pretty pattern on it. So I'm going to stick some of that in. I've also been enjoying quite a lot of chocolate. So I'm going to put in <laughs> the chocolate label from the packet of chocolate that I've been walking down this week. And I've also been doing lots of cooking. So I found these cool pictures of garlic bulbs. So I'm going to stick one of them in as well. So this page is just about the foods and drinks I've been having this week. And you can see already it's starting to build up with pictures and text like that. Now I'm not going to go through the whole zine with you because that would probably take quite a while and be a bit boring. But I can show you one I've made earlier. So this is one that I started. This is this week. And I've got my cup of tea and my garlic and my nip of tea and my chocolate. Um, and then I've also gone on to uh, the garden. I've been looking at all the new flowers that are coming from my garden. I've written on here with the pen, but I've also stuck some pictures in. I've got a few more pictures, actually. This was from a photograph, a little daisy, so I'm going to stick that on. Um, because I have some daisies coming up now, which is great, because they're my favourite. Um, so I'll stick a few more pictures in. Remember, you don't have to stick pictures in. You can do some writing, you can do some poetry, and things like that as well. Um, so I've got a couple more pictures in there as well. Next page. Oh yeah, I've been playing around with pinhole cameras and making photograms this week in my little DIY dark room. Um, that's been quite exciting. So I've put in, I found the word photos on a magazine page and um, I've also got a little cut out of one of my photograms. There are some buttons that I made. Um, but I've still got an empty page here. So what I thought I would put in here are, I found these cool pictures of ducks in one of the magazines. I'm gonna stick them in because I've been enjoying my walks to the park managed to get all the way to St George's Park this week and see some little ducks so that was quite fun so I'm going to pop them in and I'm going to use a pen and put in visiting the park to see the ducks now you can do um, Whatever you fancy in these, you don't have to do it as quick as this. You can take your time, make it a bit more beautiful, <laughs> a bit more creative than mine. But there we go. So there's my finished zine um, for my diary for the week. You can see all the different pages here. And the little ducks. There we go. And I'm going to put on the back, made by Faye. 
I'm going to put the date on it as well. Um, there we go. Now, I, I'm really happy with this, but I do want to copy it for some people to see. I might send one to my mum and let her know that I've been having a productive week. Um, so the way that you would do this is you unfold your A4 piece of paper. Let's see like that. It looks quite cool when it's like that all together. Um, I'm going to use the scanner on the printer. You don't have to copy these, you can have them as just originals, but I think with some zines it's really nice to copy and share. Um, and once you get to see some more people, you can hand them out to friends and things as well. Um, I'm going to print onto some different colour paper. I'm going to print black and white, um, so it should look quite interesting. And a bit more contrasty. So. All you need to do is unfold your zine paper like this, pop it onto your scanner and hope that it stays in place. Fingers crossed, okay. And I'm just going to press okay and copy. And I'm going to do it in black and white so you get that real nice high contrast, like Phoebe's one. It's a pretty cool contrast on the paper. Now, the tricky bit is around how we fold and cut this bit of paper now so that it has the same shape as your original but I'll show you how to do that because it's, it's not too hard it just needs to concentrate a bit it's coming out looks cool it's a little bit wonky but that's okay again like I said I think zines are really nice when they're um, obviously handmade and DIY you can have a little look that's what it looks like compared to the original there you go so I've made my first publication of my diary for the week. Right, now to get it to look like this one, the trick is to fold um, so that you've got the pictures on the outside. And then we're folding it exactly the same, so you're folding it in half, and then the top bit again, folding it back on itself. And, ooh, and the other side back on itself like that okay so you've got your M or W and now we're going to be doing a little slice down the middle here again it should be a bit easier this time because you've got the pictures to kind of guide you as to where the middle of the pages are but don't be fooled it might be a little bit wonky I'm going to put mine a bit closer. there we go so now I've got it like that I just whoop, turn it around and fold down my pages find the front page or the back page <laughs> and now I have a really cool green zine I didn't oh I didn't do that on purpose but that's cool <laughs> little green zine so there we go so I've made two little zines there we are and you can photocopy it as much as you want that's a nice thing so if you wanted to hand this out to 10 of your family members <laughs> you can reprint it about 10 times um and then yeah do with it what you want perhaps over the next few weeks you might do one of these every day or every week and you will end up with quite a nice little collection at the end and um, i'd love to see what you make as well so if you are doing any zines or any of the activities any of the board investors please tag you and bristle in it because um i do like to see what everyone's up to at home we've got like daily board investors going on youtube instagram and facebook and Twitter as well, so be sure to follow Young Bristol um, so that you can keep up to date with everything. And yeah, let us know how you're getting on. I hope you enjoy making your zines. Um, I have enjoyed making them at home as well. So um, please take care, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.